So the travel ban. People can't have their relatives coming to visit them in the U.S. from seven countries that the Trump administration has said are too dangerous. There's a 90-day moratorium. They're citing the fact that President Obama labeled those countries as terrorist rich. A couple of questions. Saudi Arabia, Egypt are not on the list. Last time I checked, 15 of the hijackers on 9-11 were from Saudi Arabia. Uh, we have radical thoughts there. We have madrasas there. I don't get that. Also, in Iraq, we're counting on the Iraqis under the leader al Abadi to defeat ISIS. They're working with our soldiers on the ground. We entered their country in 2003 to try to liberate them from, the, from Saddam Hussein. We counted on them to help us. We've been training them for years and years, and we're telling them their people can't visit our country for 90 days. I'm not sure how that works. If you're trying to get Iraqi cooperation on the ground with our troops to defeat ISIS, how does that work? How are we going to get them to align themselves with their hearts and minds in the effort against ISIS on the ground? Also, President Carter, people forget, in 1980, had a moratorium on travel from Iraqi nationals to the United States. Well, I talked to a businessman over the weekend who had a friend who was sympathetic with the Shah, who was in the U.S. trying to get asylum, but it was pending. There was no guarantee. He lived in horror every night that he would be sent back to Iran and ki be killed under the Ayatollah. So this isn't the first time we've played with people's lives and fears over nationals. I don't have to mention all the things we did in World War II to Japanese Americans in internment camps. Yes, we have a very checkered past, but here, I understand people want to be safe. I understand people don't want to San Bernardino. I understand that. But for the, or other things, although a lot of homegrown terrorists committed other atrocities after being radicalized. But I'll say this, Iraq makes no sense. Leaving Saudi Arabia out makes no sense. With this wave of free press, we can challenge these things. Senator Corker of Tennessee says he wants it changed this week. We'll see what happens. And those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist to work for Tommy who knows how to get things done downtown. We'll talk about this and more tomorrow at 8 on The Mitch Hank Show on madisontalkers.com. See you then.